I'm doing the first power on. I hope everything is connected correctly. We got some light. Yes, you guys is in. Oh, look. I could even hear, hear the motors spinning here on top. So that's good. So it uh, looks alright. It's a touch screen. Wow. Output one is off. Turn on. And we can see that we indeed have output one enabled. Um, and I'm not, I don't have the uh, AC in, so that's safe. So I'm now going to turn it off, and then we'll go to the next step. I've never seen this before, so this is really the first time. Output 2. Oh yeah. And there's even, even a, a small speaker inside uh, the Control AO3, so you can hear key clicks. Output 3 we don't need, 5 as well, 6. Okay, so we did all the testing. Uh, now, I have no idea what, what to do, or they, they told in the manual I could check if the uh, temperature is okay, so if I touch it, it should warm up a bit. So it's now almost 23 degrees, and it's indeed increasing. 27, I'm hot. <laughs> 31, 32. Oh man, I'm spending the whole day on this. And now it should decrease again. Yep, so it's quite quick. That's uh, the firmware couple. That's awesome. Um, what else do we have here set up? Output 1 is unused. Output 1 is bottom element. Yes, that's correct. Controls the bottom heating element. Correct. 2 is the top element. Yeah. We're not using the other door open position. It's 19 deg 90 degrees. I have no idea. I don't know what it is now. Ah. Motor is spinning. Okay, we have to check that, but we have to add some small piece of metal and the, the hook here so it can open the door a bit after it's done. Uh, if it will open it too wide, then it will get out too much and it will open, uh, fall open. Uh, that's not what we want, so we just uh, want to open it a bit so it, the heat can be extracted um, through the window when it's in here. Um, so we have to check that later on, uh, door closed, I don't know, power line frequency 60, 60 hertz. no it's 50 hertz. it's in Europe, okay, no idea why they asked for that, I don't know, stats, number of leaf reflows, number of breaks, oh that's cool, um, so it counts how, how many times, you, sorry, uh, maybe you've not seen it, it counts how many times you actually use it, I think, that's cool. I'm not sure what I, why it says reflows and bakes. I think it's, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, learning. A learning run is necessary to measure uh, the performance of the heating elements and insulation. Learning will take around one hour. Really? Wow. Okay, we'll do that later on. Maybe, oh, whoa. Cool. A reflow bake. Uh, okay, cool. So these are, it automatically starts with the settings. I guess, or not. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, only the first time, I think. Um, reflow, bake, and settings. So I think reflow is just um, heating up something again, and maybe reposition some parts, I don't know. Um, bake is getting it to the exact temperature we want, and settings is where we started. So, all looks good. Well, um, I really like it. I think everything is done oh, uh, just perfectly fine. Really like the results. Uh, the only thing is that I should have bought some more insulation uh, uh, tape for the internal parts, and I'm even not sure if I bought a correct one because this is a cheap one from eBay or AliExpress, and uh, that's because this only costed a couple of euros, and the the, the brand they recommended was 25 euros something for the same amount of tape, and wow. Uh, but maybe I should do that. Uh, I can just tear it off and use the professional one. I don't know. But we'll see uh, about the results with this. I closed about all holes except the, the one on the bottom here, which is hard to close. Uh, but maybe I can put something in between there, which can stand the heat. So it's completely closed there. So all the heat should stay inside. So the bottom is done with the reflective tape, the, the uh, so the bottom and top, the sides uh, for, for the most part. And the front even, uh, but you have to be able to look through the glass and see how everything goes. So that's important. And I did a bit of the top as well, so uh, you won't burn your hands if you touch it. Uh, but this is of course not completed because the, the outer shell has go uh, has to get back on. Uh, but I think, uh, wow, it took um, about a day. 
uh, at least six hours or something um, when I'm not counting lunch. Um, but it's really a uh, really nice setup, and I hope I will be using this with lots of love and, and uh, we'll, we'll see about the results. So the last thing I have to do now is actually the, the hook here added and some something that hook can hook onto to open the door slightly when the baking is done. So we'll see about it. I hope you like this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.